yeah, I'm enjoying it um, as the months go on, you know, I'm, I'm playing more and more. So I'm here to do and I'm loving every moment. And if we go back to when you first came in, did you gel quite quickly with the rest of the players? Is there anyone that you're really close to? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think um, it's a great uh, bunch of lads. Uh, I probably have my, the best relationship with Luke Crow, um, Haram and Jono, you know, so, but um, yeah. And uh, lots of players say there's a really good spirit around the place. Would you, would you go along with that? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's always a buzz around. Everyone's always positive. Everyone knows what they're here to do. So, um, yeah. And as a youngster, do you try and take advice from the likes of uh, the more senior players like Jaden, Dean, Craig, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. Um, every day is a learning curve. <laughs> every, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, We'll try that again, yeah? So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Do you try and take advice from some of the more senior players like Jaden, Dean or Craig? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm here to learn and when you've got players like that in the team, all you can do is learn. Definitely from someone like Jaden on the attacking sense. Um, the way he holds up the ball, I think that's that's an area I need to work on. So it's good to, to be around someone like him and the likes of Dino and and Woody, obviously they're experienced in the game, so their professionalism is something I'm always learning from too. And you got off to the perfect start in your city career with a debut goal against Carlisle. That must have been a really big confidence booster. Can we talk, talk us through your emotions that day? Um, there's a lot of nerves, uh, 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 a lot of happiness. I think I remember getting the call that I'm coming on. I remember just thinking, oh, wow, like, it's, like, it's, here we go. Uh, I had a little pray and then I came on. Luckily, Jaden found me. and. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember much from there. You mentioned you had a little prayer. Is that something quite big in your life? Because you know, it's when you, you come on, you yeah. a bit of a prayer. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say I'm quite religious. Um, I believe that all my power does come through God. So if I talk to him, it does allow me to put confidence in myself. And I believe through him, anything is possible. And how was your development going? Of course, you had the bit of time on the bench and you started recently. Do you feel you're improving all the time? And what areas do you think you're improving in? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I didn't come here with the expectations to start every game. So getting more and more minutes and learnings, definitely from the sides of, of holding the ball up, I'd say. Um, I think that's something that I'm getting better at and better at more that I play. And um, just getting a little bit of sharpness in and around the box probably like to add more goals as I'm playing more now. And um, you're back playing the Football League that you had a bit of a taste of before. Uh, what have you made of the standard so far this season? Um, I think it's been high. You know, a lot of people think League Two is just boom it. But I think it's not It's not as bad as that. You know, you do play, you do play some good football. You do learn a lot from it. Obviously, it's very physical, but I think, yeah, I do enjoy that because I'm quite a physical player myself. Do you think having those tests against the, the big centre-halves will help improve you as a player, taking those knocks, perhaps? Uh, yeah, definitely. Have you taken a few already? <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, on the weekend as well, playing against that um, that centre-back, Pierre. He's quite a big guy, but um, I enjoy it. I like testing myself, you know. I like challenging myself. So when you do come against bigger players, it only makes it easier when you come against someone a bit smaller. So, yeah, it's good. I suppose you don't get that in the under-23 game, do you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'd say I'm loving the more more physical side of the game. When you play in the 23, it's very tactical and and it's like methods to everything. But you've got to go more off your own ability in the, in the league too. And Matt said after the Northampton game, even though you're a, you're a Norwich player, he's keen to see you develop in the club. That must be a really good boost to see the coaches here have got your best best, yeah. best at heart. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, every session I'm getting something from it. There's always, he's always there for me to talk to. You know, the likes of Greener as well is always, arms are open to help me. So for me, it's, it's great. I'm always learning here. And what sort of things are you learning from Matt? What do you make of him as a, as a manager? Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing under Matt at the moment. Um, I think he understands my weaknesses, which is always a good thing. It's always a positive and like I said before, just making sure that I'm doing the basics well and um, my quality can take care of the rest, really. And have you adapted well to the area? It's probably slightly different from London, isn't it? Uh, very different from London, but uh, you know, it's nice, very quiet, keep me focused. There's not m many distractions down here, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. Is that something you think you, you might need to have that real focus rather than having those outside? Yeah, definitely from talking people of the older generations I've had around me, I think now 
I'm away from it, all of the, you know, the party and my friends or any, any distractions really, I can go back and then I sit down and watch my games or I sit down and I can have a, a talk with Chio about football, you know, it's very football full time and, I, and I'm, I'm enjoying that because I'm very focused on the game and that's, that's all really. And what sort of things do you get up to in your spare time around here outside of football? I'd probably say smashing chill at FIFA. That's <laughs> it. That's all I really do. Just go back to the lodge and play FIFA. But yeah, literally that's, that's all today. No, nah, chill is rubbish, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> but, and just finally a bit on, on Leighton Orient. You, of course, came through the ranks there. It must have yeah. been pleasing to see them pushing to get back in the Football League this season. Yeah, definitely. Um, Orient's always going to be a side that I'm going to look out for. And um, I hope that they, they do the best this year. They're doing very, very well at the moment and I hope that they keep pushing and they can get back into the Football League. And what are your, your memories of your time there? Is it a place you really enjoyed? Yeah, definitely. Um, they give me my chance. They allow me to be who I am today and I can only thank them for that. Um, I really, obviously, I enjoy playing there. I was there from a very young age and obviously to, to break through there is, is every young boy's dream. So I can only thank them for that. Mm -hmm.